uh, when the leftover ran in Africa, I went to Naples, Italy. Mm -hmm. And I went from Naples, Italy, clear up into the Po Valley, just far as you could go. You could look over into Switzerland from where I was. Mm -hmm. uh, what did I say? Now, anyway, the Po Valley is laid out just about like this Ohio River Valley down through over here. And it had a bridge across it, across the river, uh, that looked just about like the Silver Bridge that fell over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, me and somebody, I don't know who now, but we... Uh, from where we was camped, see, we was on this side of the river, our side, mm -hmm. and uh, the bridge was blowed up right at the edge of the water on the other side. And uh, we walked across the bridge down to the, as far as we could get, down to the water. Mm -hmm. And there was a guy laying there that had been shot when, and uh, it just looked like that he knew somebody was shooting, was going to shoot at him, mm -hmm. and like he had thrown his hand up like this, yeah. and that bullet went right through here in his hand, and right on into his temple. Mm -hmm. uh, then. Was he dead when you saw him? Or oh yeah. He, oh oh okay. yeah. Oh. And then, uh, and we, from where that bridge fell, we went up the river. I don't know, three, four hundred feet, and uh, built a bridge. I wish I could find that book. We built a bridge across that river, drove piling, and and built it, fourteen hundred and ninety-two feet long. Now that's a pretty good size span, you know. Mm -hmm. What is it? Five thousand, five thousand two hundred eighty feet in a mile, ain't it? Something like that. So that'd be. What, fourth of a mile or a little better? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's that called? The Po, the po, po River. River? Yeah. Yeah, it was the Po River. So what was the name of the bridge? Do you know if it I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I ever did know. Now it may be in that book. Were there towns on? I mean, was there a town near, near it? Not right where we was camped. It wasn't. Of course, it, you know, it was. It was Italy was pretty thick settled. It was town just there were a little piece, you know. Yeah. But right in where we was at, it it was a camp. We camped where there'd been a campground, see. Yeah. And we stayed there and built that bridge. Was that man you saw? Was he an American soldier? Or was he? No, no, he's Italian. Oh. And when when we started building this bridge, we had a um, Oh, um, shoot. A barge that we worked off, off of. Mm -hmm. Pretty good size. And uh, them uh, soldiers, they were in the river, we got stern. I reckon the water got to stir them from, you know, from where we was working. And uh, we worked worked an evening shift most of the time on them bridges. Mm -hmm. It was pretty hot right in there when we was there. And uh, soldiers just kept coming up. I don't know how long he'd been dead. Washing but, up? Uh -huh. Washing up out of the river? Yeah, yeah. They, oh. And when they come up, uh, they was down like this, their head in the water, yeah. and their rear ends are sticking up in the air. Huh. And, all of them would come up. That's the way they come. Like just like, well, just like if I'd squat down there on my knees, like I was going to pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's the way they come up. And uh, of course, we we had a bunch of Italian prisoners there that we was uh, working. And uh, well, they were helping you who, build. They, huh? they were helping you build the bridge. Or they yeah, were, yeah. Oh, did they do cooking and stuff like that, or? They do what no, else? no, we uh, no, we always eat in camp. See, oh okay. Camp was close. We was camp close by the river there, about a little ways from it. 
Uh, anyway, uh, everybody would try to get to them soldiers because just about all of them had come up. Mm -hmm. Just about all of them had one of them little Beretta pistols on them. Oh. And uh, they'd get that pistol off from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, one Italian we was working, he got the one of them, and he got the pistol, and he pulled her out there was going to shoot the guy, the Italian soldier that it was on. Mm -hmm. He was going to shoot him, and uh, of course he was dead anyway. But uh, some of them that could make him understand for him not to do it, you know. And, and he told him, well, he said he's dead anyhow. What difference it make? Uh, but uh, huh. we they they explained to him, you know. So he didn't. I don't know if the gun would have shot right. Well, then where it had been in the water, it might have had yeah. been cleaned up. So. Huh. And I sent a. I don't know if your dad still got that gun or not. I imagine he had. I sent a. What was it? A thirty thirty or a thirty out six. Rifle. From there in the Po Valley. Uh, it was an it was an Italian gun. Now, now them people was, is they're pretty smart, you know. All them people over there, when it comes to stuff like that, are yeah. war and that. They their their guns was made so that our ammunition would fit right in their guns and shoot, but. See, how is it now? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, our, our ammunition would fit in their guns and, and shoot, but their ammunition wouldn't fit in our guns. Hmm. Which, you know, like for them that was in war, if, if they happened to get the, uh, the beat on us before we got on them, yeah. Why, they they had a lot of our own ammunition that they could fire back at us with, because mm -hmm. it would fire in their gun. 